Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and Happy New Year 2022. Hope you came up with your New Year's resolution list of whatever you want to do within the course of 12 months in a year. But I hope you had a wonderful night. Now, watching the countdown as the ball drops from the old year to the brand new year. Meanwhile, you're dancing around with party music, you know, celebrating by wearing all these party hats and <laughs> blow out the horns and pop out and get around with some delicious uh, food that you make for dinner <laughs> like turkey potato salad uh, as well as uh, french bread desserts I mean the works and of course uh, just had a great time and remember all the times that we had in the past and Hopefully getting ready for the present and the future as we speak. Yeah. So now, this is my first video of this brand new year. And I decided to review a brand new peanut special. That's also about the New Year's. And it's hard to believe because uh, the first time they ever did something like that was back in 1985 with Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's the one where Charlie Brown had to spend the entire Christmas vacation doing a book report on war and peace. Yeah, he had to spend the entire time reading the entire book. The teacher was giving him such a hard time. Meanwhile, the rest of the Peanuts gang are just getting ready to celebrate. You know, they had to practice all their dance moves and all. You know, they had to get around getting all the gifts and decorate the entire house and have everyone invited so now they'll be able to have their new their new year's resolution they'll be able to watch the countdown you know have some food and drinks and snacks you name it <laughs> and getting ready for a brand new year now not to mention the more traditional song uh, from Scotland called Old Lang Syne which the, the kind of song that has a great meaning to it, where all the entire friends get her around, even her family, so knowing that they'll be together for all their hearts and souls. So, anyway, this brand new special aired on Apple TV Plus on December 10th of last year, yeah, 2021. It's called Snoopy Presents for All Lang Syne. Or simply for old Lang Syne. <laughs> yeah, this time Lucy Van Pelt um, felt like she's been going through hard times. I mean, granted, she is crabby as usual. She's always going around, you know, picking on the rest. Like, you know, it's always taking Linus's break it away. Always teasing Charlie Brown to do all this other stuff. And always you know flirting with uh, Schroeder you know, the and the fact that she's mad of, of the world you know she she wants to become basically a feminist in a way well okay Let, let's not get into that but it's a story about Lucy discovering that no one loves her you know she pretty much is all alone and depressed so to make it up for it because her grandmother wasn't there she decided to um, celebrate the, the New Year's hoping that she will come and that way she'll be able to invite the entire guests to get to make things right but who knows how that's going to turn out so that way she'll be able to feel better within the holidays so, here we go. It stars uh, Alitanel Caselli as Charlie Brown. I don't know if I said it right, but again, we're getting new people these days. Terry McGurin as Snoopy. Rob Tinkler as Woodstock Spike and Olaf. Lexi Perry as Pepper and Patty. Isabella Leo as Lucy. White Wright as Linus. Hattie uh, Quintana as Sally, 
Holly Goski as Marcy, Kayla uh, Bella Vance as Franklin, Natasha Nathan as Patty, Charlie Borrow as Barlett, Jacob Soli as Pigpan, <laughs> Matthew Lucci as Schroeder, Jackson Reed as Five Bolts and Menard, Will uh, Benaija as Shermie, Jacob Mazarau as Jose Peterson, Lucas Magallan as Floyd, Katie Griffin as Bell, Mark Edwards as Andy, Corey Doran as Marbles, Harley Winiski as Tapioca Pudding, <laughs> wow, and Maya Bazaljevic as Frida. That's a lot of penis games around. That's a big cast. <laughs> it's written by Alex uh, Galastis, Clay Cadetis, and Scott McCovery. They came up with the story. That's, of course, based on the Peanuts uh, comic strip by Charles M. Schultz and it's directed by Kate Cadetis. The special begins on the first week of December. Lucy begins to preparation Christmas by the arrival of her grandmother, which she loves dearly. However, she does hate uh, Linus holding a blanket, so of course he has to hide his blanket from her. Meanwhile, Charlie Brown tries to finish his New Year's resolution by completing the entire list of the entire year, with the last one being Citizen Kane, the movie with uh, Orson Welles that he was watching, <laughs> and Sally just spoiled the surprise. Snoopy, on the other hand, was celebrating the arrival of his siblings, you know, his sister Belle, along with his brother Spike, uh, joining in with Olaf, Andy, and Marbles. Uh, Spike, on the other hand, was about to be the photographer to take a entire family photo for each other. And all of that just leads to bad luck because it seems like they're not gathering around and they're not paying attention and it just led him completely furious. Like anytime he tries to take it, bad things happen. Well, that's what's going to lead to what happens next. Lucy, on the other hand, was about to um, try to teach uh, Charlie Brown that because he was failing at all of his New Year's resolutions in a typical fashion, he was telling him to build a snowman, he failed at that, and do something remotely creative, that he'll have his job to do so. That will complete his list. So. When Christmas Eve arrives, Lucy somehow became distraught and very sad and depressed to find out that her grandmother isn't coming for Christmas and for this year alone. Why you may ask? Well, it's never explained, but I had the feeling that she was very busy. She suddenly worries about what's happening and at that point on, she didn't came at all, not, not even on Christmas Day either. So now it just left her completely concerned and depressed. But to make it up for it, though, she decided to come up with a new solution, and that is that maybe, since the New Year's is going to arrive, that maybe she'll be able to have more love. Because it seems like, you know, she felt that, you know, her grandmother doesn't love her anymore and everything. So hopefully this will be able to cheer her up completely by actually taking this one abandoned uh, ballroom feeder and just have uh, hired Charlie Brown, Sally, and invite the rest of the other Peanuts gang to set everything up, you know, clean up the place decorate uh, the entire room and have everyone gather around for her big New Year's uh, 
gala events. So, but she had to do it by her own rules. So that way everything would be prepared. That ended in a disaster. Yes, because it seems like all of her crabbiness, you know, pushing and shoving, and all this frustration and everything that was going around, and the way she was treating the entire guests, everyone involved, and because, you know, the band did show up, you know, Snoopy's band, which only left out uh, Spike because he was already mad about what was going on with the photo shoot. And at that point on, bad luck starts to happen even more. And then finally, Linus decided that he just couldn't take it anymore. Because he had to end up wearing that costume where he finally rants and raves at Lucy about what she's been doing. And then the mic drop. Why do they always do that? This is like a hipster's way to do it. But it doesn't work in a penis special. <laughs> okay. So now, it became a, a big disaster when Charlie Brown accidentally hit the wand chain. Because the other chain was supposed to be for the balloons. Because that was his uh, cue to actually be able to start the new year this way once the countdown starts. So everything just fell apart. And everyone had left. And now she's all alone while well, everyone is celebrating the New Year's countdown. And at this point on, we're already in the new year while wow, she's feeling very sad, lonely, like nobody cares about her anymore. Like nobody cares about her anymore at all. So now she's in her bedroom moping soaking until well Charlie Brown had came to cheer her up um, with Linus and now everyone gather around to now celebrate even though it's late the real New Year's uh, party just to make her feel better and also confess about her crabbiness and everything but no matter what, even if she's a bully, we all know that we do love her as a friend. And friends really do care about, just like in the traditional sound, for all your praying things to uh, be forgot. So they know they'll never forget. So of course they sing the traditional song, All Lang Syne. Well, it, it is a great follow up to Happy New Year Charlie Brown in a way but I thought they really did uh, a terrific job coming from Wild Brain and Apple TV Plus uh, the animation is incredible I mean it's it's digital ink and paint uh, but it gives it a bit of a a 2D but also a 3D feel to it with the shadows that lighten through all the characters of the Peanuts game, the movements and all uh, really flow uh, in high definition or a this rate 4K ultra high def uh, form. It's amazing. And you do get to see all the other Peanuts games that you never thought you would spot, like Shermie, Patty. Um, Fallball, Menard, Jose Peterson, but of course you do get uh, Pepper and Patty and Marcy, um, Franklin, Violet, uh, Frida, the little redhead girl, I think that was her, but she had the fuzzy uh, curls uh, uh, during that, uh, the scene at the beginning where December arrives. It was snowing and everyone was just having fun, skating, uh, building snowmans and all, yeah. And it's always also great to see Snoopy gathering around with his siblings you know, together. I mean, they even strike their own band. Wow. And I know Spike was going through tough times, but at least, like Lucy, you know, 
They're always going to be together to cheer them up. So, this is actually um, an excellent uh, New Year's special to check out. And it really follows uh, the meaningful of the New Year's and how it's not just about, you know, celebrations and all of that that you have in mind and all the hard work that you're doing. It's about gathering around with your friends and family, you know, through the present, through the past, even going for a brand new future. I mean, they're always going to be there for the rest of their lives, no matter what happens. From the good times to the bad, there will always be the peanuts game that we all know and love and will cherish forever. That is the importance for, for everyone around. So if you have Apple TV Plus, um, it's now available. You can watch it anytime. Uh, they also have the Snoopy Show. I've yet to check that one out and be able to watch it. And also the brand new season two of Snoopy in Space. Yeah. So I definitely want to see that as well. So that's uh, Snoopy Presents for All Lang Syne. The brand new New Year's special. And I give the, the special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.